Hello again. I just want to do a video on production turning. Um, if you want to make 20 or 30 or more parts, they might be bushes such as this, um, then a CNC lathe or spindle turning on the mill is clearly more efficient than doing it manually. Although um, manual turning is quite a quick process and if you've got a manual lathe and you're a skilled operator and you've got tool allocation DRO, I still think that if you want to make one or two parts like this, um, you can do it more quickly on a manual lathe. <clears throat> but if you've got to make 20 or 50 or more parts, it just makes so much more sense to run it in a CNC or in spindle um, turning situation like this. So I'll just take you through how to make a batch of parts like this or how I do it and um, go from there. Okay, let's go straight through to the CNC turning stage. So to start with, I cut some blanks to a little bit more than twice the length of the finished part with a few millimetres extra length to allow for parting in the middle. And we fit that double length part into a chuck. This is one I've set up, um, as discussed on other videos, with an internal stop so that the part always registers in the same position lengthways. Okay, now let's run the program. <laughs> Okay, the first thing we're going to do is face the bottom um, because it's just a cut off stock and we want a flat surface for uh, the finished part and also a flat surface for the centre drill to pick up on and a reference C. We've come across now to our G G55 offset, put the centre drill in come up clear of the drill and um, we're going to come along with the 256 offset. Important to get the right feed rate and, and speed so that the chips don't get too hot and jam up and cause issues. So you need a fairly low RPM and a high feed rate to evacuate the chips out before too much overheating occurs. Now we've got the reaming stage, a lower RPM, a higher feed rate, and we have a problem with chips on the top of the tool, so you can get around that by doing an offset to the left and the right. The process is running automatically so that you can be doing something else. So here again I'll show it. the chips away. You don't want them getting in between the reamer and the bore, which will cause and also jamming inside the hole. Now we're going to come back. Some of the stresses will have relaxed in the uh, plastic and um, now we can do a OD turn. We're having some breaks in the feed to reduce the chance of the swarf of chips tangling around the part. And although manual turning is quick, it's very difficult to keep going at that level of concentration for more than a few parts. If, if you have to make 30 or 40 parts, your mind wanders and you start making mistakes. Okay, so we've turned one end, and uh, now we want to turn the other end. Um, now, you need to hold these parts in the chuck pretty tightly. You can't have it uh, coming loose. Um, obviously, if you gripped it on the other end uh, as a tube, it's going to crush the tube um, out around and, and not hold it very securely. So you need an actual positive compression on the chuck. So what I do in that situation is turn a mandrel or a core a aluminium or even a acetyl or steel that fits in there, has a hole through the middle, a close fit has a hole through the middle to let that air out, otherwise it compresses up and has a little head on it that might be one millimeter high or long um, that causes the part to be projected down um, that sets your Z height with a cut on it for the next uh, machining operation 
and that way you don't have to have another program or another setting you can just run the same program with that insert in there for the second half just a final footnote um, I wanted to talk briefly about uh, production machining of turn parts with a manual lathe or a CNC lathe and I think people tend to fall into two camps they're either a CNC or the manual um, and they will promote their own particular technology but in, in reality the, man, the modern manual lathe is a very fast way of producing parts for low volumes because the setting is so fast. You can set a, manual, a modern manual lathe with tool allocation DRO with a quick change tool post and with a set of already formatted tools very quickly. You can plug from tool to tool and machine one or two parts from a drawing more quickly than you can in a CNC lathe. Now that may be a bit contentious and cause a few, <laughs> a few comments and a few arguments <clears throat> and I'd be keen to hear from people uh, on that subject if you do production machining on both a manual lathe with tool allocation DRO and a quick change tool post and CNC turning. If you do both and you have an argument please place it but a lot of people um, only, only, are only familiar with one technology um, and they can't really argue objectively about this. So my thoughts are for simple parts uh, and you only want a few, one or two, a manual lathe is a quicker way to go. For multiple parts, 10, 20 or more, CNC is just streets ahead. Um, you can set the machine up to make parts while you're doing other things and um, it's just so much more fun than a tedious boring run all day long on a manual lathe. <laughs>